welcome to my end of year video. It's all the models I've built and maidened during this year, 2021. Uh, there's a few more than I thought there would be. I thought there would be probably, you know, half a dozen. Uh, but it turns out that there's 15. <laughs> uh, I can't believe it myself. Uh, some are fairly quick builds, but they're, nevertheless, they are built. And um, I've allotted a couple of minutes to each model so uh, you can uh, sit back and enjoy the variety. They go by pretty quick. Uh, I'll put chapter jumps below for models. So just scroll down under the description for if you want to jump to a particular model. All the videos um, I'll also link um, to the uh, various playlists that the model models um, appear in. Um, if you want a lot more detail of the build and flying. There's links below to a couple of channels I mention in this video. Leave me a comment or two, I'm sure you will. And hope to see you next year. I've got some more things planned. Uh, this year, the highlights for me were, um, let's see, whew, too many to mention, to be honest. They were all highlights. Uh, so I'm not going to pick out any one particular model because I enjoyed them all. But one of the things I wanted to do this year was um, definitely uh, get into some also gyro flying, which I've done and I should continue into next year. Um, next year, I've been inspired to buy an EDF unit. Um, there's uh, Ian's RC Exploits, he's been flying his EDFs this year, and Jeff in Lower Alabama, he flies a lot of his EDFs. I'll link to their channels below. Uh, but I've been inspired by Bob Flyman, I'll link to his channel below. He does a lot of little uh, conversions and he's just done a Vulcan EDF, which he hadn't flown yet. So just waiting for the weather, of course, in the UK. Uh, so I've ordered an EDF unit uh, I think it was 50 mil or 45 mil, I can't remember, uh, which I'm going to put into something a little bit special. It won't be a little, it'll be something special. So thanks, Bob, for the inspiration there. So um, next year, I'm going to be building more stuff. I've got a model for Christmas, which I'm looking forward to getting stuck into. That would be quite a long build. Um, I won't be doing a blow by blow build video because they're already online and I'll link to them uh, when the time comes. Uh, but I'll just do um, a little uh, summing up. Uh, something else I thought it would be fun to do would be like um, a, just a, a little five minute or ten minute, however long it runs on for, just from Cliff's Hanger, a little chat to you guys, tell you what's going on. Uh, a little friendly sort of chat. It won't be live because I don't like talking live. Uh, I'd sooner edit what I say and then I can't be sued. <laughs> ah, anyway, so looking forward to 2022. Uh, hope you'll join me. Hit the little subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed. I, uh, I've subscribed to several channels this week actually. Look really interesting. Uh, so uh, this is how you keep up with stuff. So hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up for this video and uh, I'll see you in 2022. Cheers guys. But if you know what you've got, then you can just modify it slightly. So yeah, good start. Easy takeoff. Got the clicks of down elevator, I think.
Bouncy, bouncy. Today you find me uh, starting a completely new project, a little bit different from the norm. Um, it involves this ah! um, strip it out, put all the motors and controller into a four engine plane and see if, see if I can uh, get it to fly. Possibly ready to control, if not it'll fly around the pole in the garden. Uh, she's done, she's finished. Absolutely finished, nothing more to do to it now but I uh, made it. Uh, for those of you that have watched my round the pole um, adventures that we call them uh, last year now you'll know all about it but um, for those that don't know basically it's a pole and I fly around it <laughs> Gosh, here we go look at that guys oh my lord Looks close to the wall. <laughs> that was close. This is my triumph of round the pole. I'm just going to hold it there because it's going. I'm not going to fiddle with anything. Oh, it's lifting in the wind. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. Here it goes. Oh, what can I say? <laughs> Was that successful or what? Uh, you see me today at the start of a new model. It is the Falks E-Type and it's the first model I'm going to be building on my new table. Uh, there it is, one Falks E1 by Sarik. Okay guys, here we go. Always good to take a deep breath first. Oh! I put a little bit of lead in the nose so we'll see what happens. I think it might be tail heavy still. See if I can coax it back. Yeah, definitely put a bit more weight in the nose, but... Right, just pure silhouettes. Let's have a go with this baby.
<laughs> My next build is the other kit that um, Minimum RC sent me, which was a surprise um, to you guys. Anyway, uh, when I built the Machi, but I showed you two kits. Uh, that was in one of them, and the other one is this one here. Oh, the ASG 32 motor glider. The, the beauty of this little aeroplane is got a pop-up motor. When you open the throttle, it pops up behind the leading edge, and when you shut the throttle, it falls back down. Okay, so we've got motor. We got elevator. We got rudder. Oh, the controls are responsive. Oh, look at that. Oh man. Yes, yes, yes. All right, engine off. Come back into what I think is a bit of wind behind me. Quite tight turning circle, look at that. Power off. I'm not going to do another circle, it'll be right in the sun. Well, guys, what a lovely flyer! Beautiful. Hi, guys. Up at the patch, I'm going to fly the Machi M5 biplane, seaplane, pusher, uh, maiden flight, so this is going to be a bit of fun. Well, the controls are responsive. That's hands off. Didn't bad in this wind. And it is windy. Oh, <laughs> that was close. It's a tight turn. I wanted to stay close because it's only a little aeroplane. Mashi M5 by Minimum RC. What a cracking little model. I've had this idea. Um, I, I mentioned on the comment section for the little ASG glider uh, that it'd be rather fun to scale it up. There we are, chaps. The ASG32 blow up glider from the original. I could launch that one off the back actually. From the, <laughs> always thinking, from the original uh, Minimum RC ASG32 glider, which is a beautiful little flyer, great fun. But this one's two and a half times the size, so it should be easier to see at slightly higher altitude. <laughs> so, I went for, wow. climbing like a homesick angel, like throttled back. Well, look at that. Woohoo! Turns nicely enough. It's got a little bit of Dutch rolling, is it? Let's open the throttle again. That's about, yeah, half throttle and it holds its own. I don't know if we can see the motor from there. Motor up. Oh! 
Oh! Oh dear! I was going to... Oh no! Oh no! Uh, what I was going to do then was open the throttle and go full up but it pulled it down and I fear guys that that is probably wrecked. Uh, little surprise for you today, I have a model from Model Shop Leeds. This is a new uh, glider from Cavan. So what is inside the box? Well, nothing. <laughs> De Klein Yuhu. It's called a Yuhu. I'm not sure what De Klein means. I should have Googled it, I suppose. Anyway, it's German. I shall make it exactly as the box art shows. And, think, and lots of stickers which I'll put on. Yeah, so there we are. So let's have a look at the instruction sheet and I'll see where I need to start and I'll be right back. Cheers. Okay guys, this is it. Wish me luck. Good luck Cliff, thanks. Oh, I felt I had elevator control. I don't expect much lift here, but it flies, so I can. I feel like I could possibly put it up on the bungee. So that's. Oh, it will turn. You've just got to. Oh, I've got a bit of lift there, look. always a bit sketchy on uh, maidens isn't it whoa <laughs> thanks had to say that went like a missile catch it. And in. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Am I happy? Apparently all the advice is, and I'm one for taking advice, all the advice is to start on something simple and learn the way an auto gyro flies. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. And it's not going to take much to build this, is it? down and disengaged <laughs> okay here we go guys pretty much into wind it's veering already so I've got right rudder on I might try hand launch actually oh. Dear, look at that. That's got to be worth a picture, isn't it? <laughs> well, the Henson's Flying Machine, Hocker D8. I'll probably make this one free flight and make the Liberty Raider Raider Control. So let's have a look, see what we've got. This is a 12 inch span, 
peanut scale. This one's now ready to go. Yes, yes, yes. Go on, my beauty. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so there we go, guys. That concludes the Grillo's Bird Dog Fly-In Build and uh, Trim Session. I've had great fun, uh, mostly due to uh, the Grillo's Facebook page and Doyle's competition which is what this uh, was all about the idea was to get 20 seconds which I managed to do and uh, and just so much fun and I'm up here now just doing more flights to get a few more seconds so that's uh, that's brilliant it's time to start the model that you've all been waiting for well that's what I say so it's the Henson's Liberty Raider Pretty little aeroplane, British kit, or electric RC. And look what I've got here. I've got a little box of electrical RC bits. I've added these top, top struts um, for a bit more extra strength because it's ready to control and I've got a bit more weight in it. And I wasn't um, entirely happy with the dihedral brace to take the extra weight. So top struts, they look kind of pretty good. I've also added an undercarriage. Um, the original undercarriage is uh, more for display than anything else. But I'll put a, another little change is the little windshield. I'll put a little windshield on, not the balsa one. I think it's quite sweet. The machine gun is my hatch handle. Oh, it's full right rudder. I cut the throttle there. That was full right rudder and it wouldn't turn. Yeah, full right rudder and I've got a belt of right rudder there. Um, I've got a bit of right thrust on the motor, just a little bit, to combat torque, uh, which isn't possibly enough. Uh, again, full right rudder, just couldn't get it to pitch up. So it's beginning to look like I've got a broken wing there. It's beginning to look like the Henson's Liberty Raider definitely needs ailerons if you want to fly it ready to control. Well, I thought it'd be rather fun to uh, have a go at it around the pole. And at least this will tell me if the centre gravity is about right and give me a feel for the controls. Well, she's getting blown around a little bit, so I'm going to keep her low. I've shut the throttle a bit. That's hands off. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Let's see if we can put her down on the strip, shall we? Right, let's have a go. Okay, not a bad attempt. Okay guys, I've got the box here from Dancing Wings Hobby. Let's have a look inside. The model is the Cute Girl Balsawood. And what I'm going to do, 45 inch look, what I'm going to do is show you how to build one and finish it and probably even fly it. Very pretty little aeroplane. Look at that. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Easily. Well, she floats around. Lovely. Let's bring her down a bit.
bring her around again, try landing. Oh, <laughs> that's full up, wouldn't keep it. Never mind, that was good. Hi guys, Cliff here. Ooh, Halloween. Ooh. Um, so I'm making a little round the pole project for Halloween. A witch on a broomstick. Uh, the plan um, I downloaded from Outer Zone and it was designed by a guy called Frank Scott back in the 70s. This one was for Control Line and uh, I think you'll agree guys that's uh, quite a successful model it just remains uh, to fly it on a maiden flight around the pole she's going guys she's coming down she's going up <laughs> oh, i've got full right full up full throttle Let's see if i can follow her around She's going there. <laughs> Coming down, I think. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, she came close then. Landed on their wheels. What about that? <laughs> Fantastic. Hi right, guys, just clearing the bench for the start of a new project. Dancing Wings Savage Bobber. There's a lot of prefabrication laser cutting in it. Okay guys, there we are. Uh, the Savage Bobber is complete. Looking very resplendent, I think you'll agree. Fantastic, actually. Uh, all we've got to do now is the maiden flight, which should be very interesting. Oh. Okay. Try that again. It tracked straight, so that was good. Okay, hand launch. Oh, I can tell you straight away, it flies. The controls feel fine. Let's get a little bit of height. Coming off the throttle a bit now. Whew. Let's try rudder, left rudder. Oh. That's all right. It was me being silly. Left, left rudder. Oh, what I want to do is a stall test. She looks fantastic. So I gain a bit of height. It's got to full throttle. Gain a bit of height and. Uh, Just pull the stick back and see what happens. Right, here we go. Shutting the throttle. Slowing it down. Well, she's not dropping a wing. That's okay. Okay. Nice, 
<laughs> okay. At least I hit the runway. Okay guys, I've got another model from Minimum RC to put together. And this one is the da -da, PZL 106 crop duster to me and you and that's it the model's done finished this is the minimum RCA 6M0 Q series Wow, those ailerons are really effective. <laughs> it looks great. Let's try a loop. Roll. Don't turn down wind, really. She looks lovely in the air. Look at that. Yellow and red and shiny. Oh. Willy Nilly Simple Series Mustang. Uh, gift from my friend Jerry in the States. Um, RC Tail Dragon if you want to check out his channel I'll put a link to it below um, but this is a Mustang and it's my first Mustang never never had a Mustang before believe it or not right okay here we go eyes down look in fuse our side start with this one okay she's ready I've got everything in it balances on the CG, which is pretty much on the main spar. Fottling back. I'm going to go on full aileron rates. It's a bit sluggish. I'm also going to go on full elevator rates. The gun didn't pull out then. Oh boy, she shifts. That wasn't full throttle. <laughs> oh, superb. Beautiful, happy, happy, happy. Have you watched through the whole half hour of that video? If so, you're nuts. Um, thanks for watching it if you have. Uh, it's been a, a fantastic year of variety. As I said, I didn't think I was going to do that many uh, models this year. I don't plan to do that many next year because I've got a couple of big builds to do. And give this video a little thumbs up if you like, just down below here. And I'll See you in a few days, I swear, when I upload the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.